All right, so this week we're looking at blowback firearms. Um, so what I want to do is I want to um, actually get into a couple of those and talk about how they function um, so that um, you can get that feeling. So uh, we're going to start with a Glock 44, which is a 22 caliber Glock pistol. All right, so first thing we got to do, obviously, is make sure it's clear. So we're going to remove the ammunition source. And this is uh, a dummy, as you can see, with that hole drilled in it. We're going to set that off to the side. And then we'll cycle the action. Every time, we're going to lock it open and um, verify that it is clear. All right? Okay, so... Remember, with any kind of Glock firearm, the way you actually uh, disassemble it is you have to press the trigger, which is um, unusual uh, in regards to which is unusual in regards to 22 caliber firearms because typically you do not want to dry fire them. So we verified that this one's clear. We'll send the slide forward. Now, the easiest way to open up a Glock is position your your thumb. The web of your thumb here, you're going to take these hand fingers, you're going to wrap them over, and you squeeze. And now, pull down. Up. And it comes off. Now, when we're looking at our 22 caliber, let me pull this round out. So it's going to come out of the magazine. It's going to hit the ramp and then that's going to force it up and then into the chamber. Right? Now, um, and I haven't pushed it all the way in as you can see, but so it's going to sit inside that groove. Now your firing pin is located right here, right? So that firing pin is actually going to strike this top edge. So if we think about this with the cartridge all the way in, the reason we can dry fire it is because of where the cutout is at the top. That's where it's going to strike. Okay. Now, What's interesting about um, 22, especially in a blowback configuration, this is a little bit hard to set up. Is that that extractor, right? The whole purpose of that extractor is not necessarily to extract the case. It is to hold the case on the breech face. Now, um, you know, as the case is coming, as the slide's coming back, then it's going to strike your ejector right here, which is going to then cam it off the face and out. Now, um, this is your locking block. So, your barrel fits in your locking block here. Now, as the slide cycles, it tilts. The reason it tilts is to get that more in line to feed. So, so we're here. Doesn't tilt much, but it tilts just enough that it allows that cartridge to hit that ramp at a less steep angle. Okay. Now, on this particular pistol, you do have that extractor, right? So that extractor is going to grab the edge of the case, 
and it's going to start to pull it. Now, what actually tends to eject, bring it on down, what actually tends to eject the case um, in a blowback system is actually vacuum. So when the cartridge fires, all that gas comes out the front end. Well, once all that gas leaves, there's an intake of air um, because there's a vacuum that's formed, and then that actually pulls um, or allows that case to be pushed out by that vacuum force. So, especially with a blowback firearm, if you're having difficulty with it ejecting, it could be that the chamber is rough. All right. All right. Well, I hope that that helped explain how at least the ejection cycle works in a uh, 22 caliber long rifle pistol. We're going to look at a couple more.